Oh, hey, <laughs> you uh, caught me working on the latest Left Stewart novel, which comes out in November. It's called Blood of Atlantis by Simon A. Forward. Anyway, it's nice that you've turned up. I'm talking to you like you've just turned up because I want to talk to you guys just a little bit about the Left Stewart novels, um, in particular the first batch, because it occurs to me that there are still some of you who haven't actually bought any which I know hard to believe and the question I need to ask you guys is why not so what I thought I'd do is take you through the first series and maybe give you a reason to actually buy them so we we'll start off with the very first which is the forgotten son which you'll find out is actually written by me there I am um, now why should you buy this? Well, obviously it's the first of the series, and that means straight away that it's the best place to start. Now, if you're no time Doctor Who fan, you'll be pleased to know that this is centered around the Brigadier, drawn here by the wonderful Simon Williams, um, and also features later down the line, and Travers, who of course was introduced in uh, The Web of Fear, will also appear in it later on, will be uh, Professor Travers. Uh, who else? other characters from Women Fear, any character basically created by Merlin Hazeman and Henry Lincoln. Um, so yeah, so this first story, it sets, it takes place two weeks after the beginning of the Web of Fear, or the end of the Web of Fear, not the beginning of, um, which sees Lefty Stewart in charge of repopulating London after it's evacuated following the Grand Hergent's wonderful trap of trying to catch a doctor and taking over his mind and blah de blah de blah. Um, so for old time Doctor Who fans, this is a good jumping off point because obviously a couple of years ago they found River Fear, uh, which was wonderful. We finally got to see that classic. Um, as a result, we ended up getting the life of these babies. And so everybody is now quite familiar with River Fear. And, of course, if you're a time fan, you will be familiar with the Brigadier. Now, by the way, this takes place two weeks after Web Fear. Um, but what it also does, which hopefully you enjoy for newer fans who've um, been following New Who and are not so familiar with the old series, it also takes place shortly after The Name of the Doctor, which, of course, was a 2013 story of Matt Smith in which the Great Intelligence entered the Doctor's time stream to try to unwrite all the Doctor's victories. Um, this follows this in some ways in that the Great Intelligence feature in this book is the Great Intelligence as seen in that TV story. So it's essentially the Great Intelligence going back in his own timeline and trying to essentially wipe out the Doctor's greatest ally. Obviously it may not prove to be as successful as it thinks it's going to be. So a good reason to buy this for anybody who loved those two stories is this one um, introduces it sets up the series introduces obviously reintroduces the character of Lefer Stewart who's still a colonel it uh, features briefly Anne Travers so again sets up her involvement in the series introduces the Brigadier's family for yes he actually has a family um, it wasn't always about just him he did have a family and as we know from the TV series uh, he eventually married a woman called Doris now, as we also know from the new series, he has a daughter, Kate. Um, but obviously this is way before, because Kate's not even a blink in her dad's eye at this point. Although he has met Doris, as established in Planet of Spiders. Um, now, in Doctor Who law, at least in the books, it's been established that the Brigadier was married to a woman called Fiona, who ends up being Kate's mother. But... Because, you know, as a series, we, we're obviously constricted by all the things that have come since. So any unit story, any big series story. Um, however, we're also trying to try a new series, so we don't want to be too constricted. So I've introduced a few surprises that fans may not see. However, if when you first read it, you think, but this isn't right. Where's Fiona? Where's this person? Where's that person? Keep watching. Keep reading. Don't watch. Um, and you will find out that this all does come to pass. However, it may come, not come to pass as you were anticipating. But then, if it did, 
ways to find and read in these books. So that's book one, um, as I say, written by me. The second book I should talk about another time, otherwise I'll be here all day, and I do have work to do. Um, so that's the first book, The Forgotten Son. As I say, it's written by me. It's how it all begins. Introduce you to Doc, uh, Brigadier's family. It doesn't introduce the doctor's family. And yeah, it becomes, it's a very personal risk for him. It shows you a lot about his past, where he came from, and the man he was, and how the web of fear affects him personally, affects the UK, um, and how it changes him. If indeed it does change him. And look, behind me, there's the man himself. So, um, hopefully you guys will pick this book up at some point, start the series, catch on with what everybody's doing. And next time I pop on, I shall discuss the next book in the series, which is The Schizoid Earth, written by David A. McKinty, who of course is one on Doctor Who author throughout uh ever since what 93 i think he was when he first appeared in white darkness and this one is well that as they say is to be seen in the meantime i do have work to do so i shall be seeing you till next time